In this video, part of our Awesome Cycles series, we're going to take the new community pages that we've created within our Awesome Cycles website and make those accessible to the public. If we go to the community page right now, we have to go there as an administrator account. The pages are currently set up so that only administrators can access the pages and the modules and the content on those pages. What we need to do here is we need to change the permissions. We're going to do this at the community page, and then we're going to have that propagate down to all of the child pages, the groups, the members, and even the groups has some child pages that are hidden here in the menu. So in order to configure the permissions, we're going to mouse over the pages menu, and we're going to click on the page settings option. Within the page settings, we're going to click on the permissions tab. Now, if you're using .NET New Community Edition, you'll notice that the permissions grid here is a little bit smaller than you see in my video. Uh, this permissions grid is for .NET New Professional Edition, so it has more granular permissions. But what we're going to configure is the view permissions. We're going to click on the view column in the all users role, and that's going to give anyone who can access our website the ability to view the community page. Now we're not giving them edit permissions or the ability to create or maintain content on those pages, but they can now view the pages. So we'll go ahead and click on update page and that's going to update the settings for the community page. Now that does not change all of the settings for the child pages. In order to do that, we're going to mouse over the community page and you can see the groups and the members. We could navigate to each of those pages and change the permissions, but there's an easier way in .NET Nuke. If we mouse over the pages menu, under the copy actions, there's actually a copy permissions to children option. If we click on that, we're going to get a little prompt here to confirm that we want to do that. We'll go ahead and click on yes. And that will propagate the permissions from the community page down to the groups and down to the members directory. We can test all of this out by logging out of the website. You can see when we're not logged in now, we can see the community page. We can also see the groups and the member directory page. Now we're going to go ahead and log in as a regular user of our website, not as an administrator. So I'm going to click on Login, and I'm going to use a user that we created called Beth. And if we log in as Beth, we can see up in the top right that we are logged in as Beth Simmons. When we're on the Groups page here, we can now join one of these groups. Let's say we want to join the Beach Cruisers group. can join the group. It then takes us to the Beach Cruisers page. We can post with the journal module here into the group. We can also view a list of members in the group. We can see that our account now shows up in that group. If we go back to the main groups page, we could join any of the other groups that have been created. We can also navigate to the community page. And you see we have access to the journal here on the community page, as well as the member directory there on the community page. So that's a quick video series on how to get started with .NET Nuke 6.2 as we built out the Awesome Cycles website. In future videos in the video library, we'll use more of the functionality that's available to us now in .NET Nuke 6.2.